Hello. Um, I just wanted to talk about my weekend uh, and my current position as home care aide. Um, for those of you that plan on working with the older community, um, I just want to make sure that you do know that you will be dealing with a lot of kind of behaviors that may be offensive and um, you kind of have to just know how to brush brush it off and just provide the best care for that individual that you can. Um, I do have uh, three different clients right now, um, uh, two of which are um, older veterans. <clears throat> Um, and they're both Caucasian and racism is definitely an issue um, a lot of them are used to talking a certain way or have reverted back to talking to a certain way that's not acceptable and it's disrespectful and ultimately it is racist um, <clears throat> but you also have to understand that in that age group a lot of what they say it j it comes out I, I don't want to say they don't know any better because there's possibly strongly possible there was a point in time where that's how they constantly spoke um, but they have reverted back to that um, and you have to just take a deep breath maybe step away if circumstances allow you to and then come back um, with a, a fresh state of mind I won't say perspective because nothing's changing about my perspective um, but you just come back and remember you're there to do a job you're there to provide care for that person and if they do have offensive language um, you know just try to work around that and I am speaking about the extremely older population I'm not talking about somebody in their 20s to 60s that uh, is perfectly uh, fun functioning in their um, mental status uh, which may be kind of a different scenario altogether. Um, and, you know, oftentimes, not oftentimes, I don't want to step on my words here. The population of people that I work with, um, at least the majority of my clients right now, they're, they're from a different point in history. where, you know, again, where that was acceptable behavior, um, and, um, they still, they still think it's okay, or they don't know, <laughs> um, that those words are coming out of their mouth, because some of them forget it as soon as they have said it, um, but it is very difficult to, to deal with and to tolerate. Um, and it's not just me that has to deal with some of those issues. It's also some of their kids in certain situations that also have to deal with some of those behaviors. And <clears throat> it, I have seen that it has embarrassed their kids for the way that they talk or the way that they gesture or how that they approach different populations of people but I just wanted it to uh, I just wanted you to know in case you're thinking about getting into this sort of care um, this even you know I'm sure as a RN uh, LVN um, you're gonna see that quite a bit um, and it is an eye-opener because I'm not used to that sort of language really you know I've, I guess I've seen it on a occasion growing up or you know different things um, but not what 
weekly um, kind of like what I'm dealing with now so you do have to learn how to have um, thick skin and just keep your eye on the prize which is essentially is providing care for that patient um, now again under certain circumstances I'm sure you can let the patient know you can let the client know look that behavior is inappropriate it's not going to be tolerated but if you're dealing with somebody that has Alzheimer's or another condition it's kind of pointless uh, to try to you know say those things to them because um, you're you're landing on deaf ears so just keep you know keep focused on the patient and do the best that you can do um, again if you have to step away then step away take a deep breath um, and try to re recenter, refocus, um, ig and ig ignore it, um, and don't let it get to you. Oftentimes, I do let that stuff get to me. Um, try not to let it get to you. It can be extremely offensive, um, and you know that you don't want that to affect your level of care that you're providing to anybody.